Well, hey, Gundam Maniacs, welcome to another episode of Gundam Explained. So curious if you have a backlog of Gumpla and how much do you have? Put it in the comments below. I am curious. We're right now going to go through my backlog of how much I have. I'm curious if we think it's too much, if it's not enough. And I don't know if there really is an answer to this question. Should you have a backlog? Well, why not? Or why would you? And sometimes it's like there's this like tinge of anxiety because you have like something there that's calling at you. At least for me, it does. And I was just doing some cleaning recently, kind of rearranging. And then I just noticed, you know, I have a lot of these Gumpla to build. So we're going to go through what I have and actually give away a, a Gumpla. So uh, be sure to yeah leave your comment of either what your thoughts are on backlogs or um, how many you have. And yeah, that enters you in. First up, Toad's Witter. This is one that was P. Bandai, but I picked it up on uh, eBay after the fact. Yeah, so I did pay more for it. Um, it looks like, I wonder if I even started this, because some of these I might have started, but this, not yet. Uh, yeah, so B, being P. Bandai, there's not much neat around it uh, to look at. But w let me know what you think, because the other thing I want to get out of this, too, is what am I going to build next? All right, next up is a real grade Wing Gundam. Um, I haven't even opened it, or maybe I attempted to, and I gave up that fast. Uh, to be honest, this thing looks awesome. And I have an appreciation of the Wing Gundam and the transformation mode on there. Looks sick. Yeah, even with the decals and all that. And you know what? Real grade is what got me into... Gumpla in the first place in Gundam, it was the real grade full armor, armor unicorn. So I think the intricacies of that is what makes it fun for me. So yeah, what about this one? All right, next up is the Gap Plant. Uh, and this is, uh, I think I'm blocking the mic. Uh, this is like the Titans version. Yeah, Titans prototype. Um, another one that still has the little plastic around it. So I haven't opened it yet. But um, so the Gap Plant is cool, especially this variation because it's Titans. It's kind of that advance of Zeta era we do get a lot of neat and interesting uh little add-ons and stuff to that especially the color scheme where it this is almost classic gundam in a way even close to like a new gundam uh but the colors on this look fantastic and it has this transformation mode and what looks to include a stand does it really include a stand that's like my favorite thing about this so ah man this is an intriguing one let me know what you think if i should tackle this one next all right, here's a unique one. Uh, this is uh, an exclusive from the X-Verse uh, video game. So actually, funny thing, I have been working on this one. I wonder how far I am, if we can find it. Okay, like I've got uh, part of the torso here. I've got uh, the head, and then I think I have some arms and shoulders. You know, I think the main thing with this is that it's not that exciting looking of a kit really uh you know because it's from a video game and it's an extreme gundam it looks you know a little you know crazy or not as grounded as i'd like but as a video game fan like i love video games and this being from a gundam video game there's this a thing about this that i i really appreciate this one should i just finish this your thoughts is there another one on here i should build or should i just finish this first all right next up funny story gundam barbatoris so i this is open i hear things yeah i want to say either my son started building this with me or i tried you know i think because it's not uc gundam uh you know it, it it's cool because it's a taurus and you know what now that i'm watching ibo more i have that appreciation for the barbatos that's now just clicking with me just now so maybe I'll get around to finishing this. I, and I think this was a kit, kit I also gave away as well. I think it had multiples. Yes, should I just finish this? All right, and here's a Gundam Aerial. Um, why would I need this? I've built this. I've given this away multiple times. I think this was just so popular. There were so many that there were so many handed out. So you know what? Yeah, you know what? Let's do two giveaways, actually. Or actually, let's just do one giveaway of two things. There's going to be this kit and another kit later on that I will mention. Uh, so yeah, uh, just make sure you have a comment of some kind below and you'll be entered. Okay, this one is cool. I can't believe I haven't built it yet. You know, in fact, shouldn't each one I have be cool? I mean, I chose it anyway. But no, this one also was opened. Did I even start building it yet? Uh, I don't think so. Although it is funny that the manual 
they just, you know, kept it with the original colors version, not this uh, special uh, what Gundam store. Yeah, Gundam base version. Um, I just love the colors on this, you know, with the gold and the darker, you know, more of a black, unless it's just a really dark blue. Uh, but for the Mark II, I mean, that's just a sick look. Got nothing there. I think I should build actually each one I want to build next. See, that's the problem. There'll always be a perpetual backlog because I'll always want to build one over the other. Check this out. RGM 79 GM shoulder cannon missile pod. Why Why haven't I built this yet? This is exactly the type of thing I like. Uh, you know, with the Spartan recently, the Cuckoo's Dawn's Island, was it the Slegger Law? And this, I mean, and this I potentially had already opened to look at, um, man. And then I was thinking about customizing it to kind of remove the little, uh, the extra little chin these have and kind of give it a white dingo look or something. I don't know. Um, I just love the looks of this. Like, why have I not built it yet? All right. And check this out. Blue Destiny Unit 2 Exam Mode. I had built most of the Blue Destiny line in high grade form. And it, because when I did my uh, video reviews of the Robot Spirits versions, I was actually comparing them. So check those out if you haven't seen them yet. But this was just one of the ones that I hadn't built, but I have the Robot Spir Spirits for anime now. But I want to get back to building this because I have the the Blue Destiny. I have the Unit 3. Um, and yeah, I'd love to have this because uh, th these are kind of more my jam when it comes to styles of mobile suits. All right, uh, yeah, check this out. This is a real grade, another real grade, RX-78-2 Team Bright Custom. Have you heard of that before? So this is from this, I think it was a web series, Gundam Build Real, where it was kind of like a Gunpla tournament or Gundam Breaker, where people build Gunplas, had them fight, they had something that was Team Bright. So this will actually be the other one that I am giving away with the Witch for Mercury. So again, leave a comment below. These two uh, model kits could be yours. All right, next up. Uh, it's this, uh, RX-7702 gun cannon, Cuckoo Zones Island version. Um, oh, why haven't I built this? What's cool about this is I got this in North Carolina, meeting up with some other Gundam explainers or Gundam maniacs. That's really what I trademarked it, Adam, come on. Uh, but no, like I met out, even Steven was there. Um, and then I was like, you know what? I got to grab something while we're at this hobby shop. So that's what I grabbed. Um, it's again, another case of why, and it's been a year. It's actually been a year. It's been a year. Okay. So that was 11 model kits. Curious how many you have in your backlog and is it unhealthy maybe to have a whole bunch, but not any more unhealthy than having a whole bunch of action figures or a whole collection of video games. I actually don't think the backlog really matters. You can really have whatever backlog you want, but I would say is maybe think about how the backlog affects you though, because it could be. Maybe there, that's a, there's a feeling that you always have that you don't realize that you're like, oh, I have all these model kits are taking up space and I need to build them or when will I get to them? You might find some um, uh, maybe reprieve and maybe selling them, giving them away. It, it might, yeah, relieve some pressure off your back if you like have that. Because again, when I was like cleaning and organizing, I was looking at what is a bunch of stuff I have that maybe I don't need and I could organize better and move around. So anyway, that's my take, but th that's my backlog. What did you think? Let me know. Also, leave a comment to enter yourself in for the giveaway to get the Bright Custom Real Grade RX-78 II and the High Grade Witch for Mercury Aerial. Um, so yeah, when you leave a comment, I'll probably wait a couple weeks, and then on the Gundam Explained live show, I will uh, announce the winner. So anyway, uh, there's that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the supporters that make this possible. Please check the links in the description if you're into supporting the channel or into joining our Discord. We have a lot of fun there. Uh, but until next time, be cool.